YouTube. This is what I'm doing for the YouTube fans or YouTube fans. It's a customized address t shirt that I'm customizing. As you can see, it got um, King Kong. It got the uh, the chief on there. Try to squeeze that dot in the eye up in there. Okay. Of course, you know King Kong is heavy, so I gotta add some more stuff in here. I'm not finished with it. I gotta add color and stuff. But just for the ones that don't know, this is what I do. Now I know this is on a, a T-shirt. But I, I also do vehicles too. Cars, truck, motorcycles, motorcycle helmets, you name it. Just getting a little letters to the cone to pop out. Three dimensional. And you know, I know it's a lot of people that airbrush, you know, throughout the nation, but a lot of people get lessons and stuff, but I never had lessons. Never been to a, a airbrush show or, you know, never been in any airbrush events. I would like to, but right now, you know, I'm just, I'm underground. Never went to an art class in my life. But I just love artwork. I just love doing art, all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's try this. Try to make this more interesting. Just a lot of times, like I said before, I just I just use my imagination and just let it keep going. And sometimes I even go and see how far I can get. But um, well, I find out it ain't no limit. Get this dark in here a little darker. I'm all about that three dimensional. Most of my work is all three dimensional, realistic. Even if it's a cartoon, I'll take a cartoon character and just make it look more realistic.
Y'all can see I'm very fascinated about cracks and rocks and stuff. Cause I got um, the pit bull t-shirt I done that has cracks on it, and the Miami Miami Hurricane t-shirt I airbrushed that got cracks in it also too. The cracks is more of a dominant thing, you know. In the uh, in the black that I'm using is a it's the wicked the wicked jet black that seems to show up a lot better than the um, other colors. I deal with late uh, Craytex too. <laughs> Start to say latex. <laughs> That's fun. I figure if I can get a video with me actually doing the airbrushing, you know, it won't people won't stop thinking that, you know, well, I see a lot of his artwork that he's doing, his airbrushing and stuff, but I never see him doing it himself. Well, now you see me doing it myself. little spots all on the side just to make it looks like it's part of the crack doing I'm going behind the letters and between the letters and actually like uh, darkening everything in to actually make the letters look like they're actually sitting um, inside of a cracked hole in the wall or building 
let's say building this um, King Kong Love building, okay? And I mean, I have so many ideas in my head. I mean, oh man, it's so unbelievable. I got so much things in my head. I can just come out like boom, 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 you know? Just come out. Ideas, you know? Um, take something that look ordinary and just make it like just pop. behind those letters now, as you can see it's starting to look like a wall a building that's cracked <clears throat> and you can actually see the dagger strokes How about, hmm, I tell you what, how about have this dragon to come out the side as well? Have this dragon coming out the side. You know, like, how the phone start to crack about right here? One thing I like about this wicked black, it just get like really jet black. I don't have to really use too much paint. I use more reducer like a, well, let's say about like maybe a 70% reducer with that jet black because it's not, I mean, it's really, it's really, it's very good paint. I just recently start trying it out, you know, but it works for me. Don't they look like a crack right there? There's a little highlights around the edge, just like that. Kind of fold it up a little bit. Yep. I should take the middle. Let me take this middle part. It's yet just darken that in there right there. You know what? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
Okay. See, I'm working with a a big compressor, an uh, industrial compressor. It holds uh, 160 gallons. making everything just like run together. with about um, uh, 50 PSI, about a good 45. Oh, finally, now we got quiet, peace and quiet around here. Uh, you can see the realisticness of it. Um,
and I mean this t-shirt right here is like full of details a lot of details for t airbrush t-shirt so um enjoy the artwork